in the part 3 biotechnology when we start with applications of biotechnology we need mention that in different areas of modern scientific fields biotechnology has got lot of applicational areas say in one sense in the production of single cell protein in one sense in the formation of transgenic plants in one sense in the synthesis of vaccines one sense in the improvement of crops so whenever we have applied the concepts of biotechnology this is rather very important that how we are applying each and every modern trends of biotechnology in our day to day life say single cell protein scp single cell proteins rich in d alanine d arginine d histidine d lysine etc and the best one is obtained from methylophilus methylotropus at the same time from candida species etc so this bioactive food item is very rich in different type of micronutrients and that can substitute normal dietary substances like proteins in the next area whenever we progress to several other very important areas such as transgenic varieties the transgenic varieties are very important as far as the crop fertility and yield of crops are concerned say hyalophora cecropia it's a moth you all know it from this moth a lysozyme is isolated called atacin and whenever injected in plants like potato it become resistant against let blight disease so look at the application what are the different angles of transgenic varieties we are introducing in our day to day market where from a moth i mean a moth gene is injected in a plant making it highly productive and at the same time pest resistant several other indications are also there what are the several other indications include one of the very important concept is rna i if you want the full meaning of it it is rna interference a nematode affecting the root nodules of tobacco called meloidigyne incognita where from a specific rna is isolated and this rna genome is transferred on a cloning vector which is agrobacterium species and whenever this genomic transfer occurs in the host plant like tobacco it causes synthesis of a ds rna double stranded rna out of which one is sense the other is non sense or anti sense so one type of rna you are getting sense rna at the same time you are getting anti sense rna so they do continue to synthesize this double stranded rna which ultimately silences the 
mechanism of protein synthesis. So thereby, the proteins, whenever interfered, the paste logically cannot survive in the root areas of the tobacco plant. This mechanism of beautiful application of transgenic variety creation is also known as RNA silencing. Thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net.